Hi friends, welcome back to my vlog. I hope you all are doing well. I am doing great here by God's grace. So this is again a morning vlog in which I'll be including the lunch and breakfast. So as usually, I have woke up early in the morning. This vlog was taken on Jan third. So this is how my kitchen looks early in the morning. So as soon as I woke up, the first thing that I did is making the filter coffee. So. I have made the filter coffee for two people. So for two people I have put four spoons of coffee powder and I have used hot boiling water. So to press the boiling water uh, in the filter coffee you have to use this instrument sorry this tool that will be coming with the filter coffee uh, vessel when you will be buying it so you have to press it in this way so that the coffee decation will be accumulated in the downwards part and you can use that for making your coffee so this is not an instant coffee this is a grounded one then uh, the second thing that i did is uh, keeping the rice to soak for some time before you put it for boiling so for three people i have added two cups of rice so two cups of rice i hope you have seen the glass that i had i had used it then today for the gravy part with the rice i am making more koyamba or you can say in malayalam we say it as takkali curry so i'll be adding curd for that so in a cooker i have added two tomatoes and with that i'll be also adding one drumstick so when you are adding it in a cooker see to it that you are giving only one whistle and just uh, take away the uh, steam and open it up or else you uh, put it in an open pan and boil it so with this i'll be adding turmeric and salt and little bit of water and i will be giving just one whistle see to it that you give one whistle because the drumstick will get boiled very easily and then there is a chance of opening up now the rice got the water started boiling always remember only after the water boils you should add the rice into it till the water boils you can soak the rice do not add rice with the water and boil it and this i am preparing for puri so i have i have taken only wheat flour i have not added any maida into it and with that i have added omam i needed and kept it aside and then the whistle came and see this is how it looks so here the drumstick is not boiled too much then i am grinding the coconut for the more coriander and in the coconut i have added jeera coconut and cashew and you have to make a paste very thin paste put it in the uh, gravy and just give a boil till the coconut smell goes off then in the other pan i am uh, frying baby potatoes so the baby potato few i am frying it and few i will be putting it in the air fryer without oil so uh, sometime you can put uh, oil in the air fryer too but i am not using not even a drop of oil in the air fryer so the uh, rice is done by that time and this is how i take remove the water of the rice if you don't know the beginners if you are not aware of how to do this you can filter it with the uh, strainer also so my baby potato is done so this is the curd that i'll be pouring in the gravy that i told you so th this is why it is called as curd uh, curry or you can say it as mohri curry 
and then i've added little jaggery and little salt to balance the sweetness uh, to balance the uh, taste of the gravy then i have given tempering with shallots and uh, curry leaf and mustard seed and put little red chilli for the color it gives a different color for the or curry yeah see this is how it looks so the combination of uh, more corumba and potato is very tasty just try and see and please let me know how it is so that potato which i showed was from the air fryer air fryer one also is done this is how i am making the coffee i took the tikkan put it in the glass added sugar and added the milk and this i'll be giving it to my son as he woke up early in the morning with me so this is how it looks so this is a, a no oil korma in which i have chopped all the vegetables i'll be adding directly the tomato the onion as well as green chilli into it so i have not used a single drop of oil you can uh, give this uh, kind of kurma even to older people because uh, it is good for people who cannot use oil i have added turmeric you can add little salt also with it and just put a small a small amount of water do not use too much of water and give one whistle so here for grinding i have put coconut soft that is uh, fennel seed uh, three green chilli and a uh, few cashew nuts and make it a paste once the whistle goes add the paste into this uh, uh, vegetables and you have to boil till the raw smell of coconut coconut goes that's it and you have to put the coriander leaves on top and you can take it so this is how you have to boil it the smell of the coconut has to go and the fennel seeds gives the actual uh, taste to what you actually make with the oil the kurma that you make with the oil the taste is exactly the same so here i have not put a drop of oil you can see it clearly and on the other hand i am making the puri so puri and kurma is what i served in the morning as a breakfast and for lunch they took rice more korumba and potato fry see the puri has actually buffed up you have to knead the dough in a proper consistency then only it will buff up So for two glasses of two spoons of uh, wheat flour that I took, I have made almost fifteen to twenty puris. This is my gravy. This is my kurma, and this is my puri and sabji. I hope you enjoy my vlog. See you in the next vlog. Stay tuned. Bye.